Hi y'all, Kraken Latte here. Patch 925 is upon us, and with it comes a plethora of delicious goodies. Cross-faction and race quest lines may be the hot topic of the day, but there's something else I'm excited for. Grateful offerings are annoying to farm, right? I even did a guide on it recently, but ugh, bleh, it takes ages. However, this patch has actually doubled the grateful offerings that you can get specifically from callings. That's doubled, that's a lot. And they'll drop from the Zareth Mortis weekly quest too. That's the Patterns Within Patterns quest that you can pick up every week from Bolvar. The conductor sources are apparently, from what I can see, remaining the same, which is a very low source compared to the upwards of 20 plus you'll get per calling. But to get that number, you do still need your Anima Conductor at rank 3 to receive the full amount. And of course, you have to be in the Covenant, it's rank 3 in. Now, if you haven't realized it yet, you need a stupid amount of this currency. Thousands of offerings, in fact, if you want to buy everything from all four covenants for all four armor types. And that also includes cosmetic non-armor type sets, weapons, mounts, pets, etc, etc. I've farmed this for months every day on just my main, but I don't feel like I've accomplished much, despite how much work I've put into it. But the good news, with 925, that changes. So, to try to cut down on time and make this efficient, here is my new plan of action. First, I have to choose a minimum of four alts who will be farming these offerings. I'm choosing these alts based on armor type and weapons that they can learn in order to be able to collect everything on, well, you know, as few alts as possible, which would be four. And my choice classes are Paladin, Hunter, Demon Hunter, and Mage. Now you don't have to go with these ones that I've chosen. Warrior is likely the best for weapon variety as they can learn everything but wands and glaives, and of course they wear plate, but Paladin is my main, so that's the one I'm going with for plate. Warrior can also learn staves, shields, daggers, and bows slash guns, but those are all covered by my Paladin, Hunter, and Mage across the three of them, who I need the armor types for anyways. And any of the three clothies will work, you know, Priest, Mage, or Warlock, as they can all learn daggers and wands. Mage just happens to be my favorite. And of course, only Demon Hunters can learn Glaives. So, Demon Hunter it is for leather. Now with my four alts chosen, I'm doing a few things on them first. Number one, equip a full set of 226 Corthia gear. That way I don't have any gear issues. Number two, complete the 9.0 Covenant campaign on all four Covenants for all four alts. So yes, I'm doing each Covenant four times. Four times four, that's what, 16? Eh, it's alright. It could be worse. And number three, I need to upgrade at least the Conductor to rank three in all four Covenants. That way I get the most offerings and I have access to all of the Conductor content, which gives offerings as well. Though I'm actually going to do all the upgrades anyways, because these four that I've chosen are going to be my quote-unquote covenant character mains for future reference. And with that all done, now I will begin farming grateful offerings. But I am adjusting my route from before to save time. I'm cutting out some things. If you want to see that original route to farm all the offering sources, which is still very valid, link for that guide is in the description. The goal here is to cut down on daily time that I'm spending doing this, not long-term time. I have other things to do during the day, I can't be spending all day farming grateful offerings. So I'm cutting out a couple things from the conductor sources to do this. The daily quests, for example, take way too long for so little reward. I'm maxing those. I'm also only going to do the two rares if I don't know something that they drop. In my case, I already know Valfir and Giger's mounts and Mog, so I'm not going to do them anymore. As for the world quests and the treasure, those are super easy and super fast, so I'll probably continue doing those in each covenant except for maybe the Venthyr one. I don't like the Venthyr world quest, but the treasure is really easy, so 
Again, if you want more explanation on that original route and what I'm talking about, watch my original Grateful Offerings farming guide. It's all there. And of course, the driving force behind this video, I'm gonna do the callings. In fact, I'm going to make sure to do those first on each alt in case I run out of time to do the other activities that day. The callings give the most offerings by far, so they take priority. Oh, and as a bonus, I'll be getting about 2k gold per calling. So that's going to add up quick at 8k per day. Plus, there's also the Zareth Mortis Weekly, which is really easy to complete. And I'm going to need to farm for anime anyways, so that's a bonus. I'm unsure how many offerings are going to come from that weekly, so I may or may not do it on all four alts. If it drops more than 10 offerings, I'll do it for sure. Less than that, eh, not on all four alts. I'll probably just do it on my main and he'll just continue to be the anima farmer. That'll all be pretty easy, and honestly, the only, and the most, annoying part for me is going to be just farming up enough souls and anima for my other three alts to fully upgrade their covenant sanctums. I've been very busy with doing other things, and had hoped I could do all of this on just my main. But it seems like the ability to learn cosmetics for other armor types that I discovered quite a while ago now has been reversed, and I've been unable to do so, and didn't even get a refund for what I bought most recently, the last time I've tried it, so I guess I'm doing this on four alts after all. I knew it was too good to be true, darn it. That's alright, is what it is, and I'm excited to get all the Mog and shiny things. <laughs> And there we have it. If you think I've missed information or you want to request I do a specific guide, let me know in the comments below. Even if I don't answer you, I just might add your idea to my list. As always, thank you so much for watching, and remember, it's never too latte.